I've only lived in this home for about 75 days, and the yard's been in dire need of repair. Unfortunately, due to it being the off season, for lawns doing just about any major renovations is off the table. Since I hadn't yet fertilized the lawn though, I figured this would be a perfect time to compare two very commonly purchased soil test kits. The My Soil Test Kit and the Yard Mastery Test which is also powered by my soil on the back end. And then compare them side by side to see what, if any, differences I could unearth or find. In mid-December, I pulled a variety of cores throughout my main front yard, and I mixed the soil together into a large mixing bowl. I made sure to use the majority of soil from the two to four inch depth range where the roots grow, and I took care to remove any large bits of organic material, as well as any larger rocks or pebbles that I found. From the remaining soil in my bowl, I took extra time to break up any large clods of dirt so that the actual soil I used was well mixed and somewhat powdery, kind of easy to work with. I scooped into both the Yard Mastery and My Soil kits, little like collection cups, and I sent them off to the lab using the prepaid envelopes provided by the kits. It was very clear from the beginning that the Yard Mastery kit is basically identical to the My Soil kits in both packaging and format. The only differences really was the imaging and wording on all of the pieces of the kit, like the papers and whatnot. The address where it was sent was the same also. So you know that it was at the same lab, it was processed at the same lab, both soil samples and the soil collection cup with the nutrient absorber was also identical. I think it's safe to assume that both cups were processed probably by the same hands in the same lab using the same equipment and possibly at the same time of day, sequentially. Before all of that though, you have to register your soil test kits with either company so that you can actually get your results the following week. With the Yard Mastery Test Kit, you are heavily encouraged to download the Yard Mastery application, the mobile app, to register through the app's interface. I didn't want to go that route though for this experiment, so I found instructions provided to register the kit without using the Yard Mastery app. Those instructions weren't obvious, uh, but they weren't too hard to find either since I was looking for them specifically. Once I registered the Yard Mastery kit through my basic, uh, let's call it laptop web browser, I found myself on MySoil's website on a Yard Mastery subdomain with Yard Mastery branding. From the same interface, I was also able to see the MySoil test kit that I had registered with them previously. I also found that if I logged into the MySoil interface directly, I could also see the Yard Mastery kit that I had registered, but this time the branding on the dashboard was MySoil's. I then tried to link the Yard Mastery test up to my Yard Mastery app since I didn't do it in the first place, but it wouldn't let me do it because I had already registered it through the MySoil interface, which leads me to believe that the Yard Mastery app doesn't talk to the MySoil systems or vice versa. You have to choose which path you want to take at the time of registration. Both tests were processed and completed on the same exact day, December 20th, probably minutes apart, and I was able to see both result sets side by side for the first time. And as I expected, both sets of results were extremely similar, but slightly off, most likely due to the randomness of the actual the actual dirt that made it into each of the two collection cups. This comparison instantly taught me that the results of both my soil and yard mastery should be considered one in the same because the results were so similar. They were so close. Both told me that my soil was a bit too acidic and that I was low on potassium, sulfur, iron, manganese, while also a little high in phosphorus, calcium, sodium, and zinc. Although the actual numbers were different in all categories, it wasn't by enough of a margin to care about. What was actually the coolest revelation in the comparison to me is the product recommend recommendations that were provided by both my soil and Yard Mastery. They're supposed to be personalized to me based on my own soil test results. 
My Soil gave me main fertilizer recommendations categorized as either organic fertilizers or synthetic fertilizers. They give me the option as to which route I want to take. Neither of the recommendations included fertilizers with phosphorus, and their synthetic recommendation did contain roughly 6% potassium. Although the recommendations weren't perfect, I didn't think they were bad. They also had a dedicated section for pH and micronutrient adjustments, but only recommended a calcitic lime specifically to raise my soil pH. All products recommended were clickable affiliate links to domyown.com at the time of this recording, and those products did make sense to purchase and use. I didn't feel like they were wrong. All right, I got to butt in here for a second. What I said there was not exactly accurate. I thought it was, but it wasn't. One of the three links was an affiliate link over to Do My Own, and it was for the pH adjustment product. The other two links, interestingly enough, the organic fertilizer recommendation and the synthetic fertilizer recommendation, were the Jonathan Green Organic and the Yard Mastery flagship. Both of them were for sale on the My Soil website but I have a good feeling that they're not warehousing any of these products because you can't find them in the shop section of the MySoil website. They're most likely sending those orders off to actually fulfill the orders. I have to speculate here because I'm not part of either company. The Yard Mastery test results were similar, but their fertilizer recommendations weren't grouped as organic versus synthetic. Instead, they provided the options of granular versus liquid fertilizers. Yard Mastery suggested that I use either flagship granular, which is a 2406, which would be a decent option for N plus K, or a combination of Green Punch 1801 and Green Kick 0025, both from the next line of products. This would be another good combination considering my low potassium in the result or in the test results. But they also had a section for pH adjustment where I was advised to use Magical from the Jonathan Green product line to raise my pH up. This would introduce calcium carbonate into the soil as the instrument behind the pH adjustment. All products that Yard Mastery recommended are sold directly on the Yard Mastery website, which of course directly benefits the Yard Mastery company. Basically, the products recommended by MySoil benefit the company in an affiliate relationship, a commission earned on sales scenario, whereas the Yard Mastery products sold benefit that company in gross sales, an increase in revenue. All products recommended to me from both companies did actually make sense based on my actual soil test results, so I have no problem with that. It's just worth noting that collective buyers of either kit will benefit each company in secondary sales down the road. Because both kits can be purchased for around 30 bucks or so, my best guess is that the Yard Mastery private labeling um, situation probably gets them bulk pricing deals with my soils lab and at a discount but it's probably not enough of a margin to make a significant profit on the biggest benefit I see in the yard mastery kit for that company is the increased usage of the yard mastery app which most novice homeowners or yard owners will download during the registration phase of their soil testing once the yard owner is in the Yard Mastery app and getting recommended Yard Mastery products from their soil tests, and then later in the app throughout the year, the financial benefits to them, Yard Mastery, come from the sales that occur weeks to months after the initial soil test is completed. Personally, I feel like Yard Mastery is making a great business decision doing this, and I think their product recommendations make sense, at least in my scenario. However, their available product line is way smaller than the product line that MySoil can recommend from. I'm not sure if MySoil only recommends products from Do My Own, but it's blatantly obvious that Do My Own has a significantly more diverse set of products to choose from than Yard Mastery does. Overall, I think either option is fine. I think supporting small businesses like both Yard Mastery and MySoil is equally great. I only have the Yard Mastery hat, otherwise I would wear the MySoil hat as well. 
In my opinion, the mail-in soil test kits make sense for a lot of people due to their convenience factor. If you needed to do 10 tests at once for some reason, then I'd be far more likely to find the cheapest option on the market, even if it was less convenient. But for the average lawn or garden owner that wants to test once every year or two just to see where they stand, then either company's test is fine, and they're both perfectly comparable to one another. In the description below, I've provided links to both of these tests for you to compare pricing, but I've also linked to my soil test comparison page over on the Turf Mechanic website. That includes a list of a lot of alternative kits that you could choose from different companies and different labs. For me in my new lawn, I have to correct the pH before I do just about anything major to it. So in the very near future, I'm gonna be releasing a video all about the different ways to raise the pH in the lawn, along with the pros and cons of each method. When that video is available, it will be linked up here in the corner. I hope you'll watch it. If you need to lower your pH, then that video's already been made. And it's also linked to from the description below. Thank you very much for watching.